In this video, we're going to talk about how to get a fractional exponent and rewrite those in radical form. And uh, these two are equivalent. We're just kind of re restructuring it so it's written in a different form is really all. So right now, it's written as a fractional exponent. This is x to the 7 eighths power. So I'm going to rewrite this one as a radical. And as a radical, I'm going to rewrite. So I'm going to go take this one on in. Here's my radical. Two important pieces with a radical, we have two different boxes. I've got one out in front here, and I've got one right here. Well, when we're doing this one here, the number that goes on bottom here, this 8, will actually come around and it'll go way out in front. Okay, so this is going to be the eighth root. The eighth root of x to the, and that's where this 7 comes in, the seven's going to come down, and it'll go right here. Okay, so, and these two are equivalent, they mean the same thing. The big thing is the 8 that's on bottom will come way out in front. This would be the eighth root. Now, it doesn't come way out in front like right here. That would be 8 times the square root of x. So may, remember to make sure it's right, right in between this little check mark, if you will, okay? That indicates that it's the eighth root. Okay, so let's look at a couple other examples. Right here, I've got y to the 2 third power, so the same thing's going to be true. We're going to bring that 3 way out in front here. There's where that 3 goes. And then the squared, uh, excuse me, the 2 on top turns into squared y squared. Well, let's look at this one. This is b to the 1 3rd power, so we know the 3 is going to go way out in front, just like this one did. This 1, though, this would be b to the 1st power. However, whenever it's to the 1st power, we don't write it. So it's just going to be the cube root of 3. So the, uh, cube, the cube root of b, that's it. So there is not going to be a 1 written there, we just don't write it. It takes too long. Over here, we've got g to the 1 half, so using the same rule here, we've got a 1 here. Just like we did over here, we're just going to have a g. We're not going to have any exponent on our g. But this one is squared. Uh, or Excuse me, this one's a 2, which will turn into a square root. Okay, now, when we write a square root, most of the time we don't write the 2 here. Sometimes you do see it with there, and that's okay. But just realize that this is the square root. There is a 2 here. So any way we want to write it, this one would be just fine for us.